Hi folks, welcome back. Today's video is not going to be a tutorial or anything like that. I'm giving you an update on my health. Last week on Monday, I went in for an appointment in uh, Vancouver and uh, got uh, nauseous, started to feel anxious in the appointment as, you know, can happen. And I apparently stood up. Um, I could hear the doctor who was with me was, uh, she could hear me snoring and then I just collapsed. Apparently that is uh, epileptic, epileptic activity. I say that 10 times. And I did not know that you could actually uh, be snoring and sound asleep when you're having one of these. So passed out on the floor and, uh, I got rushed in the, in the ambulance to the ER, but I had another issue in the ambulance where I just started, um, getting nauseous, a weird feeling, and um, I started sweating like crazy and nauseous, and I passed out again. This happened again when I got into the ER, so that's three times now. And then it happened again, one, once or twice, when I was on a stretcher, waiting to see doctors and so forth. So all in all, the blackouts happened about three or four times, uh, which is called a seizure cluster. And when... Um, it happened a couple more times where I got sweaty and um, didn't black out, but extremely tired after every one of these. So there's a recover period in between all, all of these, uh, for those of you who don't know um, what how exactly these things work. I've never had that. I can't remember last time I had that many issues in one day. It was, a, it was honestly very concerning. Uh, I just went, what on earth has caused this? So a variety of things ca have caused this. I won't uh, bore you with the details of those, but um, I am currently um, on six months of no work. I'm trying to get a little bit of EI on the side and I can't drive. I mean, go figure, right? I don't feel comfortable with driving right now. So my car is, is uh, not being driven right now and uh, probably going to just put some storage insurance on it. But this is one of the things where this issue has um, wreaked a little bit of havoc off and on in my life since I was a little kid. And now it's wreaked havoc again. So this is why this is partly why I haven't um, uploaded anything for a while. Uh, my depression was also getting uh, higher. So they have increased my dosage and it's starting to get a little bit more under control lately. But now my attention has been turned to my epileptic issues again. So it comes off and on and uh, I realize that now I have to really figure out exactly what I'm going to do in the long term to put myself in the best position health wise so that I can, I can take care of my health and I can also work on bringing you guys the best content that I can because I enjoy this. I just haven't had the motivation um, from depression and uh, then this issue last week. I There are most days um, where I can barely get through um, doing regular household chores without having to go for up to more, sometimes a half hour or more nap and just resting and lying down and regaining my strength. That is where I'm at right now, and that's been a week since, uh, it's been over a week now since I had my issue. So they're still coming and going, uh, feelings of nausea and a little bit of um, what feels like uh, when you put the, if, if, if any of you have had um, a, an MRI or gone into one of those big machines, th that, that looks like a really big beer drum. <laughs> You go, you, you lie flat, you go into one of those, they put an IV in you and inject you with some fluid that um, helps the machine to see the components that they're searching for inside of you um, to determine what exactly is happening on a more deeper, more thorough scale. So it feels like that. It feels like you need to go to the bathroom. So that's what it, well, that's what it has felt like. And thankfully with seizure activity, many people will actually... Um, they may not realize that it's happening at all. They may just fall flat on their face or backwards or side to side if you want if, if you want to say yes or no. <laughs> and you, they won't have any any sort of advanced notice that this is happening. Absolutely nothing. With me, I am very grateful and blessed that I actually feel them coming on. Usually it takes a few seconds 
and it could be far worse. One thing that uh, my wife and I realized, um, and um, a family member also said as well, was that this could have happened when I was on the road and driving to um, this appointment. I could have crashed. I am so thankful I did not because that would have been far worse and that would have just been a plethora of issues that I do not need to deal with or anybody else around me for that matter. So I am so thankful that I did not um, crash. I had I had all of these issues in front of doctors and trained medical professionals. The, the coincidence of that is uncanny. It really is. So I'm so happy that it happened that way. Am I happy the whole thing happened? Not necessarily. But it's a bit of a wake-up call that I need to get this stuff sorted out because this is actually hampering my employment uh, paid-wise and uh, because I'm not making anything off of YouTube yet. And uh, I wanted to bring that across to you. So I will, in the next few months, we'll see how things go. I can't promise you that I'll record anything in the next little while. I'm sure most of you will be going, don't worry about it. Um, come back to it when you feel up to it. Please know that I am constantly thinking about this. Like, how can I? How am I going to make this work? But I have to make sure that my health is in order first. I can't be recording a video and then feeling odd and then having to bleep that out or go to the ER or whatever. It's just that's just not practical. So wanted to let you guys know that I'm sure that a lot of you guys would be um, interested and appreciate me letting you know what's happening and uh, you know how the channel is going the channel keeps going up in subscribers that's one thing I've noticed we're at over 1430 right now we just got a couple more this morning so thank you to those new subscribers that just came in and for the last little while as well not just you know the two so thank you for that and uh, we'll see what this year holds but uh, anyway I'm I've rambled on too long, so um, thank you guys so so much for watching the videos and uh, keeping up with the channel and everything. Um, go over to my website and uh, subscribe to the newsletter as well if you haven't already. Uh, I'll be trying to post updates off and on on that as well, maybe even more frequently than just recording videos. Um, but uh, otherwise, hopefully things will start to improve slowly and I can get back to where I was before with this little... Um, uh, hesitation as possible. So I hope to see I hope to see you guys um, also on the channel, and I hope that you have a good day, and we'll see you later.